Welcome to another episode of Puppet Story Time. This week we are going to read a book called Trees Make Perfect Pets. Mom, could you could you get the book please? A little back. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if you can see me and the book at the same time, but there we are. Trees Make Perfect Pets by Paul Sajak. Pictures by Kathy Gendron. Okay, you can put that down, Mom. So I thought to try to um, get in the spirit of the book that we would try to record this episode outside with this lovely tree here in the background. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have to um, listen to the traffic going by. Well, you hear a car going by right now. Uh, but I think that just adds to the, um, the, the realness of the video. Yeah, sure. Mom says it's called Cinema Verite. All right, sure. That sounds fancy enough for me. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, I'm going to ask my friends to play the different parts of the book. So you'll see they're all going to be a part of it. Now, there's only one problem. Um, we only have one girl and there are two female leads. So um, I wonder if maybe, uh, hmm, Sam. Maybe Sam could play the mom. Let's see. Sam! 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 Yes, Newton? Hey, Sam, would you play the mother in um, in the book, please? The mother, hmm? That sounds like an important role. It is, um, but you'd have to wear a wig and look like mom, okay? Could you do that? Uh, I guess I could. All right, I'll try it. Okay, I can do it. I'll do it for you, Newton. Thanks, Sam. Let's see if this will work out. Okay, see you inside! Trees make perfect pets by Paul Sajak. Birthdays are the best days for wishes. And on this birthday, Abigail wished for a pet. Her brother wanted a dog. Their man's best friend. Her father suggested a hamster. They're so fluffy. Her mom thought a bird would be nice. They make beautiful music. Abigail had another idea. I want a tree. A what? They all gasped. A tree. They're the greatest pets in the world. But a tree's not a pet, her mom argued. Of course it is, Abigail said. It's quiet easy to take care of. And can you name another pet that actually helps you breathe? Her family was stumped. Abigail ran to the car. Let's go adopt a tree. Abigail searched the nursery and found her tree. He looks friendly. It's a tree. They're all friendly. Her brother said, I'll name you Fido. You and I are going to be best friends. Abigail and Fido were always together. Shouldn't trees sleep outside? Her father asked. Fido would be lonely without me. Abigail took good care of Fido. She watered him saying to him they loved going on long walks what are you doing her neighbor asked i'm taking fido for a walk that's a tree trees don't go for walks this one does he's my pet a tree is not a good pet cats are much better oprah whiskers can cuddle Fido loves a good hug. Oprah Whiskers can do tricks. Stay, Fido. Good boy. Oprah Whiskers keeps me warm at night. Fido keeps me cool during the day. Hmm. Have it your way. But a tree isn't a real pet. Abigail took Fido to the dog park. She knew it was important for pets to socialize, but... Some didn't agree. 
I'm sorry, this park is for dogs. Fido is a dog, Wood. That doesn't count. He's very friendly. His bark is worse than his bite. Sorry, actual pets only. Abigail didn't care what other people thought of Fido. She didn't mind that Fido couldn't go where other pets could. She didn't mind that Fido was only good at fetching kites and didn't like to give them back. She didn't mind that he sometimes had accidents. None of that mattered because Fido was her pet. But like all pets, Fido grew. Walks became more difficult. Fido was a tight fit in her room at night and the breakfast table became crowded. There are leaves in my cereal again. Honey, Fido is too big to live in the house. He needs a permanent home. But Fido is my friend. Where would he live? Outside. A tree belongs in the ground. Abigail's heart broke. Fido had grown too big for the house. Keeping him inside was not fair to him. She found a sunny spot in the yard and dug him a new home. But Abigail wasn't ready to let go. Worried that Fido felt scared and alone, Abigail kept him company under the stars. When morning came, Abigail woke up to birds singing. Mom, Dad, come quick! Her family rushed outside to see what the commotion was. Fido made new friends! I guess a tree can be man's best friend, her brother said. Abigail hugged Fido. A tree is everyone's best friend. The end. Hey kids, did you like that book? I sure did. I think it was a, a newer book too. I think it just came out last year. So I bet it was new for a lot of you. And you know, it's, it's certainly a new way for me to look at trees like, like pets, you know, something that needs to be hugged and loved and taken care of and just thought about and, and really appreciated. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I appreciate trees enough. So, um, I just want to say to you trees, I love you. Without you, we wouldn't breathe. Oh boy, that rhymes. I think I could make up a song. Um, actually, you know what? It's time for our song. And today we have Blue Sky and Mr. Sherman Whipple singing an original song called I Got My Tree. Take it away, Sherman and Blue Sky. This special place where I can be, where no one goes, it's just for me. She's always there, she waits for me. I got my tree, my tree's got me. When I need shade in summer, I got my tree, my tree's got me. Her leaves and branches block the sun. I got my tree, my tree's got me. I can climb upon her branches. I got my tree, my tree's got me. And gaze upon the world below. I got my tree, my tree's got me. Up here there are no worries. I got my tree. My tree's got me. Just, Just birds and bugs and butterflies. I got my tree. My tree's got me. 
If you ever want to find me, I got my tree, my tree's got me. I'm up above, safe in love. I got my tree, my tree's got me. I'm up above, safe in love. I got my tree, my tree's got me. Thank you. Thank you, Sherman. Thanks for the song, guys. That's right. I got my tree, and my tree's got me. And as you can see, we have our trees. We have our wonderful tree background here. We wanted to finish our video outside with the real trees in the background, but it was getting too windy out there, and Mom said the, the wind is no good with the audio. So uh, we'll have to work on our audio um, issues next. Well. Uh, until next time, um, we hope that you have a wonderful week, and don't forget, kids, no one can be you, so keep being you, and you are awesome, and go hug a tree! See you next time! I love you! Mwah! Bye! Do you think I look like mom? What do you think? Do you think I sound like mom, guys? Maylee, get down from there. Fisher, come help me. What do you think? I think I got mom down. Pat. <laughs>